then. Yeah, I didn't even realize my man was having the right arm. I saw my poor buddy. That was a man. God bless him. Oh, man. God bless him. Oh, the computer still was right. It was fine. But, 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 Chris's mom texted him and said, you know that dude's your cousin. <laughs> yeah, so I got a, I got a warm cousin. Sure, warm cousin. Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. That's you got to go on here at TC back in there. If you guys can't tell, this is this is the kind of environment we like. Man. It's yes. very, very loose, yes. um, laid back, yet serious environment. We love what we do. Yes. Um, and we are always hiring, man. If anyone out there is looking for a job, looking for a change of career, I mean, even if you got a good gig, man, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with checking out the other side of the fence, man. Right. I mean, yeah, you never right. know what you're going to find, yeah. you can change your life. Yes. Um, so, you know, check us out. Um, hop on our Facebook page, send me a message, send Todd a message, yeah. send a message, anyone on the PC Backer team. Um, you can actually fill an app out right on our Facebook. Yeah. Um, we're hiring for new More websites. Sessions. Yeah, check us out. Website. Yeah, on so website. definitely. Please yeah. check us out. We're always looking for good people. Yes. Um, the only requirement. Um, we like you to have, we like you to have a driver's license, although there are certain cases where we can work around that, and you've got to have a good work ethic. I don't want to have to call you to get you out of bed every day, yeah. and, and call you to ask you to, to put a hard day's work in. Um, so those are my only two requirements, man. Um, this is a great place to work. We're growing at, at an exponential pace. Yes. Um, so right now is a great time to hop on. It is. So it is. And we're doing a lot of interior work on the company, the infrastructure of the company. So there's. There's a lot of changes going on right now, but a lot of exciting changes. Yeah, man. Like, no doubt, a lot of exciting, a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. Chris, you started this whole process with JP, and um, it, it, it inundated you so much. I mean, that's that's how elaborate the system is, but but how seamless it's going to be right. once we meet that finish line. We've had it switched over to many hands. Flash Ad was involved with it, now Pam, and I'm sure there's a couple other people in between right. who, who's tried to, to get us to the finish line, and, I, and I, I'm starting to see light at the end of the tunnel oh, absolutely. With, this, absolutely. with this new CRM. Yeah, dude, I, I look back, and I think it was December when we, when we first started looking at this program. It was either late December or early January that we first started looking at this program. Do you guys remember how confident we were? We're like, 30 days. Yeah. Two weeks. Right. Yeah. 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 Two weeks. Nine two weeks later. Right. That's how it had to be a time. No, I mean, nine weeks. But, yeah. like, yeah. there was zero right now. It's yeah. not like there was procrastination. There wasn't. I mean, we've been working on this nonstop. I know yeah. myself, I put countless hours, you know, on the clock, off the clock, at home. Absolutely. Um, all that stuff, trying to get this going. And, you know, it. it Tam and all that came in at a perfect time. You yes. know, when I was starting to need it, needed to be subbed out, mm -hmm. you know, I was starting to get burned out with yes. the process. Yes. Um, you know, they took it over, and and it was a great time, man. Because everyone that's been involved with it now has taken it that step that I couldn't, that hump that I couldn't get it over. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And sometimes you just gotta do that. So I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's that's why it's a team effort. That's why you have team members. It takes a village to do this thing. Yeah. So that's freaking um, and, you know, and it I'm takes just, it takes. People from all walks of life, right? You know, we were talking about that in one meeting. You know, it takes <clears> with, with people from uh, different career backgrounds. You know, it's so crazy. Who would have thought we would need a fleet manager, right? Mm -hmm. Like seriously, yeah. like when I was laying in bed when we first started this whole entire thing many years ago, a couple of few years ago, not not really even that long ago. I the furthest thing from my mind was is at some point in time in my career I'm going to need someone to manage the vehicle. To like pay attention to how many miles are on? Does the tires need checked? Do the brakes need checked? Does it need an oil change? Right. Like who, who? You don't even think that's not even in a dream. You don't even dream of that. You right. know what I mean? Honestly, I was laying in bed hoping that I could pay pay my guys, and then um, you know, and that's why I always say I would much rather lay in bed worrying about how are we going to get it done than lay in bed and try to figure out how I'm going to pay my bills. Mm. Yes, you know, and, and that's kind of the mentality yes. that I've had since day one. When I when I went out on my own, I went out to Bayshore and Polar. I had a Ford Explorer Sports Tracks, and I went out there and I traded that thing in. I bought myself a, an F one fifty. It was red back then because I always liked red, black, and white. Um, and but it was it was a red truck, and it just seemed like over the years it was it was more difficult to find red trucks. It was easier to find white work trucks, hence where the white work trucks came from. But right. Um, there was no looking back. You, you know what I mean? There was no turning back. There was no looking back. Failure wasn't an option. Um, but there, there's been many 
failures and, and trials and tribulations along the way, but they, they've been all learning experiences. Mm -hmm. Knowing that I can't do everything was one of those biggest growing pains, you know, that that I've gone to, like, I gotta let go, I'm the bottleneck of the company. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we talk about, you know, when you came on and why you were hired initially and, you know, to, to sit behind the desk all day long, um, you know, in, in crunch numbers and, and stuff like that, but now you're you're the senior service manager of, of our largest division throughout the entire company. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're from Maryland and dipped into <coughs> Northern Virginia and over in the Summit of Delaware stuff you do for us. Um, and, and who would have thought? You, you know what I'm saying? And we got Vic who who does um, you know, our costing and, and now we're a sound guy for the videos and stuff like that and, and whatever else we need for. I mean, he's got a security system, alarm system, camera system background. And so anything that goes wrong when it comes to those kinds of things around here, you know, fix the guy that we call on. You know, because right. of his background and, and business experience, he fit in well. So that's what I mean by, like, it, take, it takes all walks of life. Different beliefs, different backgrounds. Um, Tam, she came from the cell phone world, a corporate world, who's helped us implement, you know, different processes and procedures and, and, and uh, you know, um, just things that I didn't think, think about. Think about yeah. Right? Yeah. Think, think definitely. Like, like she was the one who was a fleet manager. You know what I mean? She was the first one that brought to my attention, other than my dad, that we needed an organizational chart. You know what I mean? Right away, after the, I think the first week or two, I had brought her in my office and was like, okay, what do you think? Pros and cons, what do you see? And the first thing she did for me was, was make an organizational chart, and it was a circle. Mm -hmm. And it all revolved around me. Mm -hmm. That basically there was no decision being made in this company without me. Mm -hmm. And it really opened my eyes, and it really wasn't that long ago. Yeah. You know, I mean, a few months ago, really. I mean, we knew that. I think we right. we we all knew that. But to get a, a, a fresh set of eyes to look at it mm -hmm. and and have her pointed out to me, it's like okay, so it's not an illusion. It's not because some days it's so close to my face, I can't see any further than my nose. Mm -hmm. Really, you, you know what I mean? But to have a fresh set of eyes come in and say, look, this is what I see, and she's from a corporate background. Right. And and so she man, it very impressive right off right right out of the gate. Um like Chris said, we're always hiring top talent and, and this can be a good segue into and I'm sure we'll we'll get off topic, but but Bucky here um showed up, said he wanted to work. Now obviously there was some communication <laughs> before that that morning he came rolling in here. But basically he did, he wasn't taking no for an answer. And that's the kind of people we want. Absolutely. Man. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. The, the, the rejection was not an option. Right. You know, and uh, we, we we feel like he's going to uh, be a good representation mm -hmm. of the TC Backer family and name. Um, we feel like the, the area where we're putting him is in, in the sales department with Tom and, and Kevin and Lauren and now Sarah. Mm -hmm. Sarah started. We got a new... Uh, Lady starting on the thirteenth. Her name is Ashley. She comes from the banking world. Okay. You know what I mean. So there are all of these people who we need that have these different types of background. Tom came from sales. What did we need? We needed a salesperson. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? It didn't matter what kind of sales, but he was familiar with numbers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's familiar with sitting in someone's home, doing in-home consultations, doing inspections, doing things of that nature. And I'm hoping with Ashley coming from her experience and her background of, of being in just about every position there is to be in the banking world, she should be, she should, she should work out. No, we're not a bank, but we crunch numbers right, yeah. around here. So we feel like she'll be a good number cruncher for us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was those. I have to be smart. I know I'm not the smartest guy in the room, but I am smart enough to know that I need to surround myself around people who are smarter than me in other areas that I'm not so smart in. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's really, that's right. the bottom line. Right. No, I mean, it makes sense. It yeah. Makes sense. I think we're doing a pretty good job. I think we got a great team. Man. We got a great team. We do. You know, all the guys and guys that work with us, from the guys in the field, yes. you know, from the guys that pick up materials, absolutely, um, the whole way up to you know yourself. You know, everyone in between there. I think we have a great team. We all work great together. Right on. Um, there's a lot of respect that goes on around here. You know, everyone respects each other, <clears throat> has each other's back. And yep. I mean, at the end of the day, that's that's the place that I want to work. I mean, right you know, that's where I want to put my effort in. Yep. Um, so yeah, um, how uh, how'd you 
Tom Dicker, Bucky. What, uh, okay, let's, let's, hear, let's hear your backstory, man. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The sugar cutting version. Yeah. The sugar cutting version. <laughs> yeah. Give, give us the, the, the dime, the nickel, the, 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 the nickel version. Keep it clean. Uh, all right. Dude, what, what's Keep your clean. work history? Give us yeah, the work uh, history. Work history, real simple. Uh, joined the Army at 17, served till I was 25, got out. Um, did some electrical stuff, um, installing stuff with Vic, mm -hmm. the uh, security and all that kind of stuff. And my last two major jobs have been um, actually in the recovery field, uh, trying to help people with mental health and with substance abuse problems. Um, awesome. Essentially, my job is to help them help themselves get better. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's and never a good idea unless you think it's a good idea, right? Right. That's, 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 that's right. That's so it was, it, was my, uh, it was my job to make it make them think it was their idea to stop. Right. And I figured I would probably take that talent mm -hmm. and use it somewhere else in my life. Right. Yeah. 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 Here we are. Right on. I mean, if, cool. if, you, if you can talk an addict into not being an addict anymore, you can probably sell some labor. Or, <laughs> or an insurance company. Or an insurance company. Like, <laughs> sell it on the fact that these people need it work. That's right. right? Yes. Right. I guess. Right. So that's why I thought he's here. Yes. You know, and that's yes. what, but, but we, we admire that he was a veteran just like Tom is, and Tom's here, by the way, that's why I keep pointing over there. Um, uh, he looks like he's been through a battle. I know, right? He looks rough right now. Yeah. But um, that's because he worked so hard, I'm sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, I lost train of thought there, I'm sorry. Tom. You're, you're <laughs> the face and the glare. Put the lights in here and the glare off the top of your head there. Shine with it. Go find him a hat or something. Got a glare. Yeah, I can't focus for this. I'm sorry, Tom. It needs to be real. You alright? You sure you're alright over there? Yeah, I'm good. Am I going to be your left eye guy? Yes. Okay. Fucking. You got a right hand in the left eye going on here. We don't just think the whole person. Listen, he's deaf and he's what? Your right ear? My right ear. And I'm deaf in my right ear. So. That's why we're sitting the way that we're sitting. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So we had to strategically plan this. <laughs> oh, I'm fine with it. I'm good, bro. What is it? Are you the one while we were late tonight? Because we were trying to choose the, the pecking order of how right. we were going to sit. This is my spot. I love giving it up. So yeah. Yeah. I'm just kidding. That was an easy one. But, uh, yeah. Um, so who's on here tonight? Got the round We got all kinds of people on here. He's got a dirty eye. Lawrence, you got a dirty eye. What's that mean? I have a loss of my eye. Oh, really? It's not poop? You don't get poop in your eye or anything like that? He's got poopy eyes. There's, no, there's no fecal <laughs> matter in my eye. Pink eye, baby. No pink eye. No pink eye. No pink eye. I wouldn't be here if I was. Girls are going to fart on your pillow, ain't you? Oh, my God. <laughs> that's a sick joke. Oh, oh, boy. You're playing on somebody. That's See, what it is. That's not right. That's not right. Yeah, it's not. That's not now we got a bunch of people. Um, yeah. My mom's watching. Dawn, what's up, mom? Um, Alan Tyson, aka Zach Fisher, like, is, is in the house. I got you. I got you, Zach. Zach. Uh, Lauren Honka, what's going on, girl? Colin Cross, nice to see you in here, buddy. Thanks mm -hmm. for watching. David Bruno, as always, every week. He's another religious watcher. Thank you, buddy. Mike Brown from down in Maryland. Huge supporter of TC yes, Backer. For sure. Um, appreciate you always watching, Mike. Make sure you get in touch with me. Let me know how your shingles are holding up and when, when we can get back to uh, do that final walk once your solar panels get installed. So we're walking that sucker. Uh, we've got Brittany Butler. What's up, babe? Watching from home. Her and Kennedy are probably watching right now. Kennedy had her first day of school. She loved it. Nice. Made some friends. So she switched yeah. districts this year, so she's kind of nervous. nervous. Um, but everything's great, man. As, yeah. as I knew it would be. She's, she's a good little girl. Um, Tina, what's going on, Tina? How you doing? Nathan Baker, Diane Brooks. Um, and that's all I got on my list, man. Right on. I saw Diane, Tina. Tina said, hey, Bucky. <laughs> Nate Baker, Diane, I got your email today. Uh, great promotional stuff. Thank you for sharing that. We'll, we'll have to sit down sooner than later to go over. Uh, we got some home shows coming up. Not anytime soon, um, but. Hopefully we can be a little proactive this year and, and throw some really cool stuff together like he did for us last year. Mm -hmm. Speaking of things coming that will be here sooner than later, um, as most of you know, uh, the our first annual food drive went without a hitch. I mean, just great, phenomenal. Um, I was just telling somebody that today, I think Mike Hanscom, I was telling him that today because we 
finished up the taxes, we had to file an extension. And he had um, commended us on, because obviously he, he sees our charitable donations. Mm -hmm. He was like, whoa. I was like, yeah. hey, it is what it is. It right. is what we do. Right. Um, but anyhow, I had told him how we gave um, the union, what was it, like 42 or 4,700 pounds mm -hmm. of food on top of the monetary donations that we gave them. That, so that was their biggest of uh, contribution that they right. had ever received right. before as far as you know, one shot of you know, the pounds of food being donated to them. Um, so that was pretty cool. But what I really wanted to talk about was, was the 21 Turkey Salute that would be here way sooner than mm -hmm. we can all imagine. Mm -hmm. So be, because just the way that this year has flown by, like you said mm -hmm. earlier, summers, you know, here it is at the end of August already. September's right around the corner. Um, but we got the, that'll be in uh, November. What day did we say it was going to be November 24th? I believe it. The day before Thanksgiving? The day before Thanksgiving. Okay, yeah. so Dottie wants to be uh, involved with that. We're going to get them involved. We'll, we'll probably end up getting all of the turkeys there, end up getting more turkeys than we did last year just, just because we know we're going to need more food. Mm -hmm. So anyone who wants to donate monetarily, um, or or pitch in or right. you know we we should get a list together and get it together mm -hmm. sooner than later of right. things that we're gonna need like uh, stuffing um, potatoes potatoes um, the oil and and the deep fryers and the pots and things of that nature and the turkeys are I would say are under control but like the side dishes and it's not gonna be like in uh, where everyone brings a covered dish. It's not like that. So we're looking for, I don't care what brand of stove top stuffing it is. You know what I mean? If, if we have Tom donates and brings in five boxes and, and Dan Gardner, <clears throat> whatever, as long as, you know, and then we should have a cutoff or a deadline for that so we know if there's any more that we're going to have to pitch in and get. But we'll get a list together by next week. Yeah. Of, of donations that we'll be receiving and, and obviously most of it, you know, powdered mashed potatoes is a non-perishable that should last between now and then. Um, uh, Stovetop stuffing, I know uh, Shane last year had uh, a local butcher shop, I believe, or somebody made, I don't know how many pounds of cranberry sauce, which actually went over, we, we picked on him a lot about that, but mm -hmm. it actually went over pretty good. Um, to do, to do, I know uh, Zach and uh, David Kax and his whole entire family, they pitched in. Um, I know our whole entire team pitched in. That's where Tom and I got really acquainted, was there. Um, to do, do heck, the, the mayor was there, the commissioner was there. Mm -hmm. They're actually, I haven't spoke to anyone, but last year the mayor asked me why we didn't ask to close the street down. So sooner than later, I should probably make that phone call and make sure that we can still close the street down, you know, from this time to that time, yeah. the day before Thanksgiving. Maybe we can work out get some live music out there too or something. Something. Yeah. Okay. So any so, ideas, any donations monetarily, um, mashed potatoes, whatever, whatever. You know, we, we, we're going to want corn, you know, Thanksgiving dinner. We're going to want gravy, we're going to want, you know, whatever you would want. You know, basically at your Thanksgiving table is what we want to provide to the people of York. Yeah, man. So, yeah, yeah. Stuff. so I just wanted to start, let's you know, start throwing that out there that, you know, the, the, the second annual 21 Turkey Salute will be held, we decided, November 24th, I believe it is. I the, the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So. Hey, while it, while it would be, can I say something? Yeah, man. Awesome. Absolutely. Um, so there was a time in my life when I had gotten out that it was because of people like Ty and the people who donated last year, and the people who are going to donate this year, that they were the only reason that I ate. I was sleeping on the park bench, I had nowhere to go, I had nothing, mm -hmm. nothing and nobody. And the fact that, <clears throat> I'm choke up, the fact that somebody would go out of their way to help somebody like me, um, it, it felt so good it almost broke me inside. So just know that if you're doing that, that somebody out there is going to feel that same way because of what you're going to do. Awesome, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for sharing that. For sure, King. That's, that's good stuff. That is good stuff, man. That's, 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 that's authenticity. 
is what that's right. right. I mean, that's, that's, that's why we do it, man. And, yeah. then, you know, I had that aha moment when we were putting the roof on at Christmas Addicts, yes. you know, and they were serving food that day. We were hooked up. Just seeing the thousand people out yeah. there that are just representing their family members. Yeah. Yeah. That's not even on the mouth of being fed. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just seeing the impact <clears throat> that something like that has. And you have all these people out there that are, you know, where does this food come from? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it comes from people that that want to give it back. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It, it comes from people that, that understand, like you say, mm-hmm. you got to give it away to keep it. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yes. So, um, you know, that's that's a very humbling experience. Uh-huh. And all of a sudden, it makes these problems that are so big in your life about that big. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I know what my kids are going to Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like, I can't imagine trying to do my job every day, yeah. wondering in the back of my head what me and my kids are going to eat tonight. Seriously. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, and, and there's people out there that work mm-hmm. that still live that way. Yes. You know what I mean? Let alone people that can't get employment. You know, veterans, yes. people that are disabled. Right. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of people out there they that just have, can't make ends meet right. Right. because they're trying to support the family or whatever debt they might be in or whatever right. circumstance, <clears throat> whatever hand they were dealt, you know, in, in previous years or months earlier. And anyone's welcome to come down here. That's why we that's why we say anyone's more than welcome to come down and help. Right. And anyone is more than welcome to bring your family down and eat with us. Please. Yeah. Bring come on down. Um, we're we're feeding York City. Yeah, and, and honestly, man, I mean, um, I know Zach brought his kids down there. I saw some football around with them. I mean, it's just this, this is a kid friendly area yeah. spot. Um, I, the more the merrier, man. The more Absolutely. the merrier. You know, if yeah. you just want to come help, hang out, even if you just want to come hang out, like just come hang out. Seriously. You know, it's, yes. it's, it's a great time. Um, you get, there's a lot of laughter, a lot of good times, and it's, it's just feel good. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Those are the things that we go home and we, we feel really good about, yeah. about what we did that day. Mm-hmm. For sure. That's a freaking leaping, man. I think everyone there went home with a smile on their face. Yeah. Whether you came for to get something to eat mm-hmm. or those of us that were helping, mm-hmm. you know, it was a long day, um, but it was, I was so <laughs> energized for weeks mm-hmm. after this. It made my Thanksgiving so much better. Yeah. That food tasted so much better. Yeah, you know, it really did. Even after deep frying that many turkeys, I still wanted to eat turkey after that. I was really, <laughs> I was grateful for every single freaking bite. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, I don't think that any of us ate any of the We didn't have time. No, like, yeah. it wasn't, we ran out of food we to give to people. So, yeah. like, I'm not going to sit here and eat my food in front of somebody yeah. that got, got up and yeah. walked the whole way down here. I don't think any of us ate. When I'm going home to eat, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not going to there's no way. Yeah. There's no way you can do that. No, it's such a beautiful day, too. It you was. Know, and we were in the midst of COVID at that time, but, but, but for that brief period of three hours, whatever it took to serve all that food, I mean, we served over a thousand pounds of food. Yeah. You know, that was gone in hours. Yeah. So, I mean, not long no, hours. Three hours. Yeah, three, three hours. hours. Three hours it was gone. Yeah. yeah. And we, it was actually gone before that, other than the turkey. We Listen, to so we took us 60 minutes to deep fry the turkey. So two hours necessarily. Right. We, you know what I mean? That, that the food was gone. We don't want to do that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't want to have leftovers either. Right. But to have to turn somebody away wasn't a good feeling, man. Mm-hmm. Wasn't a good feeling at all. No. I can tell you one thing, man. When I carved my turkey Thursday, that our Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. it went like that. Oh yeah, you got practice. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, you got it right. <laughs> you see that one too, man. Yeah. You guys just right. Is that why Tom left? I think so, man. I think it was him. <laughs> <laughs> No nah, man, but um, yeah. So Bucky, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a famous question here. We ask everyone that comes on the show. Yes. Um, and the only rule is just you can't say money. Okay. <laughs> I can't say money. You no can't money. say money. Money is not your answer. Okay. All right. What motivates you? What What drives you? What gets you up out of bed every day and gets I you that energy at five o'clock in the morning to the shit outside? I don't want me or my family to have to eat ramen noodles every day anymore. That's it. Family. Yeah. Hungry. A family. That's pretty much everyone in the world. Everyone that's, that's here, that's pretty yeah. much there. Yeah. And what's cool that's is, it. is we're all family here. Yeah. So when you bring that to the table like that, and then you include us into your family, and we include you into our family, you work hard for us. Absolutely. We, we don't, we work together. You don't work for me. You work with me. You know, and that's how we all are. We work mm-hmm. together. I value everyone's opinion. 
I listen to what you have to say. I may not like it all the time, and usually those times that I don't like it, it's probably because it's true. Mm. You know what I mean? And I know that, but sure. but it, that would be a different circumstance. But I always try to listen to what I, I value everyone's opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and I, and I think that's that's the difference of we're going to work someplace else where your opinion really doesn't matter. Right. You know, when we try to explain things, you know, and, and I'm sure, especially with guys out in the field, they're probably like, why are they doing this? Why are they doing this right now? Mm -hmm. But there is a plan. The plan is, is to try to make everybody's lives a little bit easier. Right. right. Sometimes they get a little harder before they get easier. Yes. That's for sure. For sure. And it definitely, I mean, I'm not even that far out of being a field guy. I mean, I've only been here three years, and I came directly out of the field to work here. Right. So I was installing roofs. I came from a commercial roofing company. Um, and believe me, I talked all kinds of smack on my management because in, from, from my eyes, they didn't know what they were doing. They weren't field Right. They weren't out here sweating every day. Right. Their processes didn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. But once you get actually get behind the scenes and see everything that has to go into making the decisions for those processes, um, it's not always going to make sense. Right. Right. It's not. It's not always going to make sense. Right. Um, but just know that um, every move that we make in here, one hundred percent, is to make their lives easier. Absolutely. Not mine. No. Right. They may not see that right away. You know, but if you know, and, and things aren't always going to be easy, and sometimes mm -hmm. we'll do things. Dude, if it was easy, everyone would be doing this, man. <laughs> <laughs> For real, if it was easy, everyone would be doing this. Absolutely, freaking with you, man. <clears throat> Absolutely. You couldn't have said a truer statement. Um, but, you know, sometimes we'll try things and it works so good. Right. You know, and then we got to make a decision that yeah. requires the, another decision. Right. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, not that we made a mistake, it, you know, because we're learning from it. Right. You know, and it's never a mistake if you learn from it. Mm -hmm. And that's how we try to think here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We try to believe what we believe out into the field to the gods. Has that always been easy? Of course not. I, I get it. I, I understand. Like, in your office, and it's like, you know, I got it. I just recently started thinking with a in office mindset. You know, I was always, what's the weather going to be like today? What's this? What's that? Everything yeah. has to do with the field guys. Yes. You know what I mean? But, yes. you know, now you have so many people that you trust in positions that worry about that stuff That's now that you can focus on, okay, you know, who's buying land? Yeah. Where, you know, yes. what are the interest rates? What are, you know what I mean? Yes. Like that kind of stuff. Yes. Stuff that is going to sell our business yes. so that we have something to do yes. in six years. Yes. You know what I mean? For so, sure. Um, sure. It's it's super important, man. Everyone everyone's position is vital, um, and unfortunately, you know, you do have some of the guys that go unnoticed more than mm -hmm. others. Yes. Um, but you usually notice them missing the most when they're not here. Right. You know what I mean? And, um, For sure. But, I mean, that's that's just the nature of the beast. Um, but it is one big happy family here. It is. I love my job. It's not easy every day, but it it is it is a big family, man. And you know that's exactly the way that I want. That's how I want everybody to feel that they're a part of this. Their 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 voice matters. Uh, they their opinion matters. And I want to ask. I want to know. Just like Tim, when I think it was her first two weeks here. So give me give me your opinion. What do you right. think? What do you think? You know what I mean? And she she was raw. <coughs> you know, it, it was truth. It was it was authenticity. Right. You know, it's what she shared with me. You know what I mean, and um, it was it was honesty. You know, and, and I took it. She she didn't bash the company. She didn't bash me, but she she I asked her. I kept asking her. I had to dig it out of her. Like, what would you change? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I need this. I, I'm looking for your constructive criticism. Right, right. Now. I'm looking because I know your background. There's a reason why I hired you. Right. <laughs> you know, I need to know what would you do different. What have you guys done? Where you worked before where you came from and, and she broke it down to me and she still gives it to me like that. Yeah. That's important. Man. It is. It's important. No, it is. You know, we, we were talking on the show a couple of weeks ago. Remember we were talking about, you know, you have you have those friends that you got that, you know, always co sign everything you say. You know, you know, if it's a great idea to you, they're like, yeah, man, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. You know, those are not the friends that you need. You need yeah. the friends that are gonna be like, that's a really bad idea. You know what I mean? They're gonna tell you something that you don't want to hear. I don't like this. Kind of you know what I mean? No, no matter, <laughs> no matter what, you know they're they're, they're gonna be honest with you and upfront with you. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They're gonna call you on your on your crap. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll tell you when you're wrong, and they'll also be there to support you through the crap, even if you decide.
time to do yeah. the stupid thing and tell you not to, they'll still yes. be there to support you. Yes. Um, and for all the good stuff too. But you know, that's that's the kind of environment that we're trying to put around here. You know, yeah. you gotta you gotta be able to speak up and say, dude, that's really not a good idea because yeah. of this reason. Yes. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, and and you, and it takes a lot sometimes to be able to swallow that. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes mm-hmm. it's it's not nice hearing like something that you thought was the greatest idea in the world. Having someone to say that that is really a bad idea. Here's why it's a bad idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's a hard post swallow. It is. Um, sure. That's that's just what it that's what it is. I mean, ain't none of us ever been in this position before. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. We've we've never been doing what we're doing right now. There's there's not many people out here to do what we do. No. So um, it's not like you can just pick up a book yeah. and find the ten keys to success. Yeah. Um, that you're guaranteed not gonna fail by actually. You know I found that book. Oh yeah? Yeah. 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 It's six. Oh yeah, it's yeah, six. No. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta figure out. We gotta figure out the other four. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, six. The other four was the blind. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. It, it it has been a learning experience and a learning experience for a lot of us. And like you said, nobody nobody handed this to us, so it wasn't like all the right people were, yeah. were in the right places, and everything was kind of turnkey and was was going. Smooth and, and we the other meeting we had I don't know if it was this week or last week but it's you know I I told everybody it's like I don't want anyone sitting in this room to feel comfortable right now mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because we're talking about job progress mm-hmm. the minute we start feeling comfortable we're in trouble everybody sitting in this room right now needs to feel very uncomfortable mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying it, and, and think about it that growing pain of of, of including and you know, with the whole job progress situation, it's been painful. And there, there have been times, a couple times, that I thought, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. But if we want to keep continuing to scale, we have to do this. Mm-hmm. We have to do this. Yeah. They've done so many things. Know your numbers. That's the thing I need. I need to know the numbers. Whether it be, you know, what, what was our ROI on, on the billboards? What was, you know, our ROI on Google Ads? What was, you know, this tells me all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, um, today, you said you had a very successful day today with it. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Um, I had some fears, man. Um, I've been having some fears, and, and, you know, we got it. I feel like when, when, when what I was talking about earlier, when, mm-hmm. when Tam and, and the other parts of the team that took this from me, at that point in time, we had it successful successfully running already in the CR world, right? We yes. already had it running successfully in the investment world. Yes. Um, our biggest hurdles were the service world mm-hmm. for new construction, yep. which we thought the, you know, the game changer was going to be in with job progress was the new construction world. We're like, this is going to just change everything for yep. us, right? Yep. Um, and the sales world. Mm-hmm. Okay, those were the two, those were the two beasts, mm-hmm. the biggest beasts of our company, yes. you know, that um, I didn't quite have Wrangled and I, I, I was burned out. You know, I, mean? I was burned out trying to get everything going because there's so many moving parts. Not to mention, you know, my 50, 55, 60 hours I got to put into my regular duties. Yeah. On top of all this other stuff that you know is constant attention, making phone calls, making, you know what I mean? Yeah. On on something that we've never done before. You know, it's similar to what we a system we already have, but it's not at the same time. Otherwise, we wouldn't be using it. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, one of my big fears was, you know, we have. I got three years, over 5,000 jobs of information in one system. You know, what happens if I just ditch this system and go with this new system, and I got a warranty request on the job that we've been to, I got no pictures anymore, I don't know what we did last time. Um, you know, what if what if a signing guy calls out something that I that, that tries to blame something on me, and we have a $10,000 back charge or a leak, and I can't prove it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's, there's so many things that go on in my head, and I'm like, I, I, can't, I can't do this. Like I, I'm dragging my feet now. You know what I mean? Now I'm going to be the bottleneck because I, I had fears on doing this. And, and today, you know, we we finally launched it. Mm-hmm. Um, we got it on, on everyone's device, and we just said I went through some some struggles this morning, man. And I was I was this close to pulling the plug on this morning because we, we could not get it figured out. Um, we couldn't get something to load on the phones. The addresses wouldn't pop up. Mm-hmm. On the guys' devices, and I'm like, well, that right there is a game changer. Like, we can't do this. If yeah. they can't, if they don't know where they're going, yeah. mm-hmm. I can't send my guys out driving over mm-hmm. the state of Maryland not mm-hmm. knowing it's bad enough new construction yeah. addresses as it is. So don't come up that hill. Right, but now I'm not even going to give you one of them. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. I got to give you guys something. So I ended up finding a fix for that. 
you know, we had a, uh, an issue where I was like, okay, well, I got this billable service, you know, that we got to make sure that we bill our customer for. Mm -hmm. How do we market in a system that's a billable service? Because, you know, we do 50 to 60 services a day in here. How do I know that these two are billable? How does the guys in there know? Like, I'm not the one that sends those bills out. We have people that we hire that, yeah. that keep watching this stuff. Yeah. Our old system, we'd be able to tag it as a billable service, they would get a notification, right? Yeah. Well, this system doesn't have that. So we, we thought of a way around that on tagging them in, a, in an area that notifies them when the service is complete. So if they're tagging it, they know it's billable. Right. That's the only reason that they, they can be tagged there. Yeah. Um, and you know, throughout the day, we had some problems that came up with the guys and you know, we worked through them. And, you know, from what I could tell, the notifications that I was getting today, guys were rolling. Nice. Um, between that and company cam, everything was working well together. We were able to get our Good. pictures. Um, we were able to put notes. You know, Giovanni called me up and, um, and was like, hey man, like when I mark something complete, I can't put a note. So what happens if I go to a leak mm -hmm. and I want to say, you know, uh, step flashing or something, or, you know, step flashing was a tape or um, there was pump jack holes in the roof or a shingle blow off. Like, I can't put any notes in here. All I have to do, all I mark is complete, you know. Yeah. So now tomorrow when Chris gets a phone call from the warranty guy, yeah. and he wants to know, hey, what was wrong with Mrs. Jones' roof? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, I don't know. He marked it complete, though. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Um, we, we were able to find out, you know, we can go into the job mm -hmm. and pull up a note that's linked to the job and write a note in there. You know, nice. service on 825, um, found blown off shingles on Mrs. Jones' roof. Okay. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? So um, there's going to be there's going to be little hurdles, but I'd say overall it was a big a big relief, man, because yeah. everything went good. Um, everyone ran it all day, yeah. and there wasn't an issue that came up that I wasn't able to solve on the fly. Nice. And as a matter of fact, I was actually able to do things better and more efficient throughout the day nice. as things came in. Awesome. You know what I mean? Yes. You know, whereas before I had to find a spot. You know, the, the Wi-Fi in my truck is sometimes finicky, so like I have trouble connecting to our server back here mm -hmm. to get on data form how it was. Yes. Um, and it was just it was just a lot more of a process to add stuff. So what I would what I would end up doing is taking a shortcut mm -hmm. and I just call the guys and say, Hey, why are you in here, go to this spot, do this. Yeah. Well, that's all fine and dandy, it works, but six months from now, I can't prove who was on that job site because I don't remember that phone call I made six months ago. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yes. So um, it's, it's little things, man. It's little things that I was hesitant to, um, you know, just try. Yeah. You know, what's, what's the worst that can happen? Right. You know, we have one day that we don't have any record of. Yeah. You know, what's the worst that can happen? But it, it, it wasn't even like that, man. It went yeah. great. Um, so hopefully, um, the guys got confidence in the system. I now have the confidence that the guys can do it. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, you know, that works. And, and you know, like we were chatting about out there, you know, if we do, the idea of this is to, is to get this thing running, get this to be a well-oiled machine to the point that we can duplicate it somewhere. So, yep. you know, we can go down to South Carolina, we can open up a TC backer shop, hire people, teach them the way on how we are successful here, yep. and it's the only way that they know. Yep. You know what I mean? Sure. Right now, it's tough for, you know, guys like me, guys like Tyler, guys like Colin, who have been through all the systems. Yes. You know, they were here when we were writing paper tickets. Then they went through the struggle of learning data for them, going through all that stuff. And now everyone's mastered that. Now we're pulling the rug out from under them again. Yes. Here, let's try this system. Right. Like, and a lot of these guys are probably like, dude, when is this going to end? Man? Like, yeah. like, are you guys going to be happy with this? Well, yeah. But, yeah. you know, this, every time that we get comfortable with something, it seems like there's something with it that keeps us from yeah. growing that, that yeah. you know, where the rest of the company It's the learning curve of it. it. You know, it's changed nobody. Like, you can't right. whether it be good change or Bad change. Right. And, and again, you were talking about, you know, Tyler and, and Colin and those guys have been through these processes, but each one was an improvement. Mm -hmm. Did they like it at first? Well, probably not, but I can guarantee it they did after once they learned how to do it. And mm -hmm. I really feel like this process is easily duplicated, like oh, you yeah. said. Oh, yeah. We can keep our finger on the pulse of this thing anywhere, right. from anywhere. Right. And that's what's cool about it. It's mm -hmm. an app on your phone, like you said. It's, very user friendly. You didn't have to, you know, pick up the yeah. server from the, the, everything. I, mean, the, the, I assigned two two services in Highlands today within forty five seconds of each other driving on six ninety five for myself. Awesome. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm literally driving in traffic on six ninety five and assigned services to my guys with one hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's that's how easy this system is. Awesome. 
You know what I mean? So I love now, that. now, now, don't get me wrong. There is going to be times like let's just say I get an old leak that pops up on something that was prior to that or to job progress right. that doesn't exist. I'm not going to go do that that yeah. way. Right. That's going to require me to call back to the office. Hey, I need you to create this job. I'm going to yep. send you an email. Yep. I need you to give me guts on this, and I'm not going to sign. Right. You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't but mean there's a process. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? We know the process. We know what we have to do in order to make this thing work right. Yes. You know? Yes. So, Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Absolutely. Very much so. So, yeah. Um, more shout outs. I see Dan is on there. Good to see you. Jam. Um, who else? That was it. Todd Warhouser. It is Todd Raw Bowser. Raw Bell. Raw Bell. I was going to say that, but I know you called him that. Yeah, I did. I did. For Doobies, actually. He was the guy that told me I'm at uh, Cut Side. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. He's got some of our original t shirts. Oh, yeah. Something. He's got something he showed me one time. Yeah, insane. Yeah, it's dope, man. Yeah, it is. Good dude. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um. Yeah, we'll see Tyler's in there. Big stain. There's my big stain. Dude, you're like three weeks late on that, bro. Yeah, he is. You went like three weeks without dropping a big stain on here. Yeah. Yeah, man. Drop the ball. I thought he was trying to come up with something new. That's why we didn't hear it for a while. No, you can't. If any broke, don't fix it. That's right. I like big stain. I actually, I liked it for a long time. I actually told people what it meant one time. And I was like, dude, don't drop it. That's my
um, and get our butts in there. I know he he uh, messaged me on Facebook about a week ago and said that his uh, his form that runs his shop is down 100 percent to work a long day that day. Okay. Know, to make sure that we can get the machines running, kind of like Marky did. Yeah. You know, he had a couple of select employees stay yeah. behind, show the process. Yeah. Um, you get Marky to come with this. Yeah. Well, he he's got. Them. Yeah. He's got. Them. Yeah, man. Just keep them away from the gear. I would put a potato sack every time they get out. They won't even be out there. Party. They won't even be out there. I tell you, man. Speaking of Carmine, he uh, he posted an Italian bakery in the Mechanicsburg, which is called La Bella. One morning, I woke Tina up and said, "We're taking a ride." Mm -hmm. Dude, some of the best freaking cannolis I've ever had. Really? And look at me, I've had my share of cannolis. Right on, man. Yeah. Just being a little bit Italian. Is Just well, a little right? bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little. Bit. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. If, if you wouldn't know where a good cannoli is, then you would probably <laughs> yeah. know where a good cannoli is. Right now. I've never had a cannoli in my life, so. I don't think I've ever had a I don't even know what a cannoli is. Uh, uh, it's nature. I don't know if this is back to the guy's dick, but I'm you, just telling you. You and I gotta talk, man. Yeah, I mean, we can talk right now, bro. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? It's like, yeah. have you seen this belly button, bro? I don't even know what a cannoli is, apparently. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I don't think I've ever had a good cannoli. <clears throat> this is the place to go. Yeah. And that's the same thing when we're trying to get Like, I don't know why I don't like crab cakes. I just, I guess I've never had just a good one. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. next to that place in Mechanicsburg, next to the place, uh, Vicaro's in, in Baltimore, mm -hmm. hands down the best up there. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. We get some ones in here now, guys. We can always. Yeah, so we, we got, got some five right up there. Yep. We got five ones in here now. There you go. Britt Rick said we should go, Gino, Jana, Ty, and yeah. Tim. There we go. We're going, man. I guess we're going. Carmine, if you're watching, man, you better get ready. We're, we're ready. coming. We're bringing the whole crew. And I'm telling Marky to drink here before it comes. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the Marky show, guys. Yeah, man. Yeah. This is the best, yeah, dude. They are the best. Dude, we literally have the best show for Marky. Yeah. 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 Jana says she makes crab cakes. Somebody's in trouble. Ty's in trouble, trouble. <laughs> just, not, 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 My man said he's never had a good crab cake. Been out big crabs all day, you, you know. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. that's what it is, because crab cakes do not taste like no. just crabs. No. You know what I mean? They so don't. when you're thinking, it's like, man, I'm going to get this giant mound with uh -huh. that taste. No. And it's like, that's not what that tastes well, like. Well, that's what it's supposed <laughs> to taste like. Right. They used too much filling in the dough. Yes. Something. I don't know what's up. Like, there's some old bay on it or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just don't get it. I don't get it. But, yeah. Uh, there was a place down in Rome, though, that was called Jake's Seafood. That was probably the, the one that I probably liked the most. It yeah. almost was like they had like a mustard mayonnaise, mm -hmm. um, cream cheese mm. taste to it or something. It was, I don't know, it was, it was good though. It was just, it wasn't, I don't know, I can't explain what they had in it, mm -hmm. but it, it was different than any other one that I've ever had. Yeah. And yeah. was probably, I wouldn't have them again because I just, I, haven't it, but it was by the best yeah. one. We need to yeah, next time you make crab cakes, let me know, man. I'll come over any times. Uh, yeah. And I'll enjoy it. I'll tell you it's good too. Yeah. yeah. I'll be there. <laughs> Look, road trip down to Baltimore, man. That's what we gotta do. Yeah. I tell you what, Denny made Denny came over to the house one time a couple few years ago. He made crab cakes. However, or whatever he did, that was a good crab cake. Mm -hmm. And that was from scratch, you know. Um mm -hmm. He did, he had good ones, and that was on the fly, too. You know what I mean? We were kind of roughing it. Right. Camp, like a, like a camp, a fish mm -hmm. camp kind of style. That's, That's right, that gets out, man. Yeah. You gotta look for the guys with the bellies, man. Yeah. The guys with the bellies know how to eat. Yeah. yeah. You know how to cook, too. Yeah. Man. And he brought all those things to make it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he had two cores, like two cores in the back of his truck, he's ready to go. Yeah. Like, you're out of here anytime. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. We gotta do something crazy. We gotta get like a dunk tank or something for the hundred yeah. episodes. Dunk tank. Or blow something up or 
Yeah, something crazy. Dude. Well, we're in the process. Of like, of something <laughs> we're in the process of remodeling. So, if anybody was wondering why we're where we're at tonight, is because of the flood of 2021. <laughs> <laughs> the great flood. The great flood. You guys yeah. remember us talking about last week? We were sitting in the middle of a creek. Yeah, we were not joking. Right? No. The studios underwater. Yeah. Yes. So we need to remodel the brand new remodel. Studio. Um, but we had some other ideas that we wanted to change some things around. I mean, also Vic and I yeah. had actually got everything kind of cleaned up and off the floor. Mm-hmm. So uh, this weekend, I think we're going to tackle some time. I'd give it two weeks, we'll probably be back in the studio. Yeah. Dude, mm-hmm. Vic told me that we're going to make castle walls out of, out of siding shape and make a moat. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Draw the yeah. 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 Puff it's yeah. Nice. Yeah. Magic Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, lots of good stuff coming, man. Lots of good stuff coming. Um, we're going to be annoying you guys over the next eight weeks about um, the 21 Turkey Salute. Um, you know, we're just getting the info out there. We're going to be coming up with, with some flyers here, um, get the word out. Um, if anyone out there is, you know, um, wants to take the idea to your work or maybe get your work involved, let's make this thing huge, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I really don't think that we can have too much food and feed too many people. No, I don't so, think so either. Um, let's make this thing huge. Yeah. You know, if there's any businesses that want to want to link up and, and help out, and yeah. the yeah. more the merrier. We can make this as big as we want. Yeah. You know, we, we pretty much got permission from the city last year that we could close down Penn Street, mm-hmm. um, which would add additional parking, additional space mm-hmm. for whatever. So between social distancing and, and the amount of people that we want to, to come down, and, and again, we're feeding you work, mm-hmm. okay? Bring your family down, bring your kids down, you know, let your neighbors know, come on down, come on down. Mm-hmm. You know, anyone's allowed to come down, we will accept donations um, there, today, tomorrow, up until then, even even during, if someone wants to donate, you know, uh, monetarily, we can, Save that for either next year's, the following year's, mm-hmm. 21 Turkey, or or plan on our second annual food drive. Whatever yeah. we'll have a, we should probably <coughs> start a nonprofit. Um, but uh, it's something else that we can think about and talk about yeah. later mm-hmm. at a later date. Right. So you know, maybe maybe another thought might be to start a Facebook page for it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, just kind of. Everybody can throw their ideas up there. Yeah, kind of that would be cool too, man. Yeah. Just just because every year, then you can kind of we'll have a moment that we can go back and look at last year's photos yeah. and yeah. Like, everything will be in one spot. Yeah, you know? yeah that's for that event. Yeah, that's a great idea. That is yeah. a great idea. That's, that's a really good idea. But yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll bring that into our into our meeting too. So yeah, let's, let's talk about that again. Yeah. That's, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, as always, everyone that supports us, man, this is why we do it. Yes. Um, if you guys have not already, please hop on and like our Facebook page. Um, hit the bell for notifications so you know when we go live. We're live every Wednesdays at 7 o'clock. Yep. Um, everyone, give a huge shout out to Bucky, our newest team member here. Um, mm-hmm. I think he's going to be very successful. Um, Me too. And... You know, finish out you guys' week strong. It's gonna be hot the rest of the week. Um, but you know, should be should be good. Should be good. Very good. Yep. We'll see everyone next week at seven o'clock. Yes sir. Um, for episode eighty eight. Right. Eighty eight? Yeah. Oh. See you guys later. See ya.